Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today we are planning out the week of August 5th through the 11th. I am using this Bunny Bear Plans Olympics kit. This is Art by Clip Art Kits and I am using this for the week of the closing ceremonies of the Olympics and for my dad's birthday. I thought about using it for the opening week of the Olympics, but I hadn't used a summer kit yet just because of my trip and I was just itching to use the summer kit. And then this year, a lot of my dad's like presents for his birthday and souvenirs from our trip consisted of like Olympic themed items. So it just kind of fit for his birthday this year. And this is the first time I'm using a kit from this shop. And then I do have a foil bundle from Plan With Me Stickers who I PR for and you can use Rosie 15 to save and get my foiled freebie. I also PR for Plana Hannah and Planner Pixie Co. So you can use Rosie 15 to save at any of those shops and get my freebies. Um, Yes, this video is going up a day late. Actually, not because I didn't feel like talking. Well, kind of that too. Mainly because this week was kind of like nothing happened, which you'll see in a minute when we get into that. But I kept forgetting to take photos of my planner when the light was out. And I'd remember when it was like nighttime and the photos don't turn out as good. Like I need natural daylight. So... I finally remembered today, Thursday, October 3rd, you know, like Mean Girls Day. Um, so this video will be going up Friday and then I did take the photos for the following spread. So we'll be back on track, but y'all know I've just been a hot mess express lately and I don't think that's going to change. I'm going to just embrace it. So yes. Also, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Rosie. This is a hot mess. I kind of just ramble until we get to the day by day um, about various things, which before we get into that, Lucy and Olivia are living their best lives around this house right now. I actually think they're both sleeping for the time being, but if you hear them, I do apologize. They are my cat and dog. And Let's see what else. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up and leave any questions down below. I might not say where every single sticker is from. So if you have any questions, let me know. I think that's it for right now. Um, so this week, what I mean by it was really boring is because starting Monday evening, I started feeling like, okay, I do not feel good. And I took my temperature which is somebody that gets sick. I'm not somebody that's usually like a temperature person. That's not usually my symptom. Um, and if I do have a temperature, it's usually like not even really that high, like under 100. But it was 102 when I took it. So that's when I was like, oh crap. Um, so I texted work that night to let them know that I would update them in the morning. And hopefully I would feel better, which like I did not. And that just kind of became a reoccurring theme. I just did not feel good. I was sick all week. Um, and then towards the end of the week, I started getting restless with being sick. Because for some reason in my head, I can only be sick for like a certain amount of days. And then like I have to be getting better, right? So I started trying to like cleaned my house, went to work, celebrated my dad's birthday, which I probably did too much. Um, because spoiler alert, the following week I do go to the doctor and your girl was sick, but we'll, you'll find out the diagnosis next plan with me. So make sure you're subscribed. So, so you know, just how sick I was. So I wasn't making it up this week. Um, but it was really bad. So I basically, just rotted all week long um it was really hard to mark things because like I slept and that's it 
I did mark like Dreamlight Valley some, but I was mainly logging in just to check the items in the Scrooge shop. I wasn't like actually playing the game to like decorate or do quests or dream snaps or anything like that. Like I was just going to make sure I didn't miss any items. Um, yeah, I was reading some, not a ton, but it was just not a great week. Um, yeah, being sick just sucks. And I feel like this summer I was sick quite a bit, especially because I came back from my trip sick um, and then got sick a month later. It was just, it was a mess. Um, I've been a mess, which probably also has contributed to why my planning has been a mess and my videos have been a mess because, you know, I've been taken out for two weeks. My thing now too is it kind of happened with like this spread because last minute I decided to sub this spread in. So then I had to order the kit. I had to order the foil. I had to wait for it. I had to do the spread. I had to format my scripts. I had to buy my custom from Hannah, you know, send the, th the file off to her. She had to, you know, foil my order, send it to me. I had to lay that down. Like, so this spread delayed some of my videos and then it's kind of happening again because I wanted to use that Kitness Girl Dress Art, the alien one, and I'm waiting for my Play With Me stickers order, which is my fault for being lazy and honestly waiting to place it because I knew I had to, but I was just procrastinating going and seeing what I actually needed. Um, which is my own fault, and I placed the order, and she's currently in London, so obviously I won't be getting it back, or I won't be getting it until she gets back from her trip, which is my fault. So um, I'm going to be trying to post videos all that I have consistently. I'm pretty sure we'll be, uh, I'm hoping I have enough that we'll be okay to not get backed up again. That is my goal, is to stay on track right now. I have two big goals for the end of this year. One is to complete my reading goal, and two is to, like, get back on track with planning, like, being organized with my kit lineups, foil, all that. It doesn't help that my planner room, planner organization, everything is a mess right now. I kind of don't know how to organize everything. I'm kind of in organization limbo, so everything is literally thrown about the floor, um, which is not good. So I like how I have my character stickers, pulling them off the sheets, but currently with my life, it is unrealistic to have the time to keep up with that and do that. But I feel like it works for certain things, like mixed sheets really well. Um, so part of me is thinking about doing what, like, Scribble Prince Co. did and all that with, like, the card dividers and laying them that way, and I could still get, like, blank sticker paper and cut them to the size I need and manually divide up sheets that I need to. I don't know what to do with icons and character stickers at the moment. I think it's very practical for Disney and like pop culture to take them off of their sheets. But for like icons that I use repetitively, like my makeup icons and my workout outfit icons and all that, I it's no longer like practical for me to keep doing that. So I need to figure out some sort of hybrid way to make this work. Um... So if anybody has any suggestions, holla at your girl because it would really help me out. Because I think part of my planning slump right now is that it's not fun because it's such a mess. You know? Maybe you don't know, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. So let's go ahead and get to the day by day of this boring week. Also, I didn't realize that she didn't have a Monday through Sunday box. So you'll see what I do with my steps later. 
So Monday the 5th, I slept in and then my dad and Tito came over to do the lawn and house things like they do every Monday. And then I did my glutes and hamstrings workout. And I remember feeling like strong this day and lifting like really heavy. And then I did some planning and the Olympics was on. And then that was when I had a 102 degree fever and started to feel sick. Um, moving into Tuesday this week to mark everything like me calling out or getting my shift covered I just used these Eiffel Towers that I had from Scribble Prince Co that I saved like from my trip I just it was an excuse to use them since the Olympics were in Paris and then I so I called out of work and then I was sick and this day I was basically dead to the world I slept all day long and like did not wake up and then in the evening, I felt like I needed to eat something, especially because um, I wanted to take some zinc. And if I don't, it upsets my stomach. So I got McDonald's and then the Olympics were on. I don't know if I said that. I apologize if I did. My Olympic stickers, by the way, are from the Coffee Monsters Co. Moving into Wednesday, the 7th, um, I called out of work again. I've been communicating with work. They knew I was pretty sick. So, yeah, marked that I was sick and that I, like, slept in. Basically, I woke up, took my temperature, and was like, yeah, I still can't come in. Fell back asleep, marked that the Olympics were on. Took a nap, um, because that's what sick people do. Um, checked in with Dreamlight Valley very briefly, and then marked that Big Brother was on, and that was the first half of this week, August 5th through the 7th. Like I said, pretty boring, Moving into Tuesday, the 8th, my, the bug guy came to, like, spray outside for bugs, and he was actually kind of rude, um, because first off, he was, like, 30 minutes early in the morning, and so I answered the door with my robe on, and he's like, did you forget or something, and I was like, no, but you're also, like, early, Anyways, he sprayed for bugs, did not do a very good job, not very pleased with that. I marked that I was sick, um, and my June lineup went up this day, which I can link in the eye up above. Um, then I played some Dreamlight Valley, aka probably just checked in very briefly. Um, the Olympics were on and Big Brother. Moving into Friday, August 9th, I slept in this day and somebody was able to cover my shift, which was nice because it meant that I didn't need to use my sick hours, um, which is appreciative. This day, I managed to be feeling just a little bit better, so I did some editing that I needed to get done for some videos. Then Lucy, Olivia, and I all took a nap together, which those are so special. I always love to mark when we have family naps, the three of us. This day, I finished reading Crave. And then I played a little bit of Dreamlight Valley, and the Olympics were on. I really liked um, the first half of that series, the Crave series. I really hated the second half, so that's my overall review for the next few weeks if anybody's wondering um Saturday the 10th I played some Dreamlight Valley this day I felt good enough that I finally made my bed for the first time all week I'm one of those people that makes my bed every day so this was a sign I was like determined to force myself into thinking I was feeling better um, I opened the windows in my house just to get some fresh air in. The weather was super nice outside, and it was just something really nice I wanted to mark. Um, also this day, I had a bunch of laundry that had been washed that I needed to put away, just like I currently do. It is one of my least favorite chores. It usually just lives in the dryer or the laundry basket and I pick it out until I'm so annoyed and have so much it's overwhelming and it takes me forever to do. Um, and then this day I had to run a couple of errands. I was running low on some essentials. I was still feeling sick. Uh, don't worry, I wore a mask. Um, the Olympics were on. This day I started reading Crush, which was the next book in the series. 
Um, and then I just couldn't stand my house anymore and needed to clean. So this day I vacuumed the entire house, the downstairs, the upstairs, everything. I just can't. The amount of hair, like for Lucy and Olivia being as small as they are, the amount of hair still amazes me that they're not bald, y'all. Um, I mopped the floors, I dusted, I did all the things. Like I said, this was maybe the start of me overdoing it while still being sick. Moving into Sunday the 11th, it was my dad's birthday. I washed my sheets in the morning and then I went to work. After work, I ended up going to my parents' house to surprise my dad for his birthday. A coworker actually texted me the night before if we could switch shifts, and that was actually how I was able to see my dad on his birthday. I didn't think I was going to be able to, so it was kind of a nice surprise for me, too. Then when I got to my parents, the the closing ceremonies were on. I was going to use this big Coffee Monsters Co. sticker, but it was too big. So I just used this flag from the deco of the kit. Um, the little thing that I left blank is for a checkered flag because NASCAR was on. As soon as the Olympics ended, NASCAR started back up. And the race was in Richmond. Then I marked that my mom made my favorite salad and rice. And that big brother was on. These are the scripts that I formatted. I will try to link this font down below if anybody is curious. And Planahanna formatted or er, foiled my scripts for me. It is like the same font as the Paris Olympics font. It was just too perfect to not use for this week. I really thought about mixing silver, red, and blue foil for this spread, but honestly, your girl's just getting lazy, and it was easier to just do sparkly hollow and just get caught up. A lot less planner math involved as well. Um, yeah. I don't know. What did you all think of the Summer Olympics this year? Was there any like standout moments for you? I just always enjoy the Olympics every year and watching all the different athletes and some of their abilities blow my mind because they do things that and like train. I just I don't know. I just love the Olympics, but that's going to bring us to the end of this plan with me. I hope you all enjoyed hanging out with me today. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't yet. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one, and I will talk to you later. Okay, where am I? There we go. Bye, friends! <laughs>